have gone through uh, it's not honestly uh, K21 was not you know, the first one the first training you should have joined so i what i was basically looking for somebody who can help me in my job uh, uh, job hunting process so basically the job hunting process was always difficult for me because i was into 14 years uh, 14 years have not given interviews my background is completely different i am into applications application implementation customer management but how do i transfer my skills those soft skills whatever i have come up, got that a little bit of learning on cloud and how do i start how those things i should transfer to the next job how do i do that what's the process i that was that is where i was struggling and uh, the first class when i attended the demo classes atul has explained that okay this is what you are going to get exactly what i was looking for and that was that's that's all i i i have gone through udemy classes i have gone through other institutes and honestly nobody supports that not even single one i have gone simply learn also um, paid a lot of money simply learn to learn go through but none of them none of them has given me that kind of assurance like about the job courses technical courses you can learn i i must say reshab is really uh, in his game uh, the way he teach uh, he keeps the audience connected over listens i don't know about others but i was really uh, even if it's night 12 o'clock to 4 o'clock i every time i listen to him and answers to him he probably rem- he will remember me that because i answer a lot to him uh, skips on asking questions i always say answers to him so still he, his way of teaching was so different that it keeps engaging uh, the students so the demo class uh, about the job hunting process help that was the trigger point for me i needed some help on that area and uh, i'm absolutely happy with that uh, that that one team actually has helped me about uh, jobs about starting from up- uh, optimizing my linkedin profile my cv my cv was not getting selected through ats because it was not getting clear that it is my cv was something i don't know somewhere i've designed actually copied somewhere i've designed boxes um formattings was completely out of sync and all so many informations nobody used to read and so it never used to pass through ats so i knew i'm struggling with that actually so and team has helped me come to the stage i think my my entire cv app now I know how, what's a format and all those things, so my CV does not get rejected on ATS. It goes to a recruiter. Recruiter sends a mail saying that okay, we have saw your profile and all those things, and then we either they say that okay, we'll settle the interviews, or they say that okay, we took somebody else who is matching more deserving and all those things. So that was the point. As I said, the first goal was to. I get a help on job hunting. K21 team. I'll I'll come back uh, step by step. So first one was uh, the first major goal was job hunting, but the first training was really good. I had um, luckily uh, I was just joined Reshab's class. I don't know about uh, Jigar's class actually. I've never attended his class, but maybe he is as good as Reshab. But I joined Reshab's class, and uh, unfortunately I missed the first four classes, and then I came back and joined the fifth class. So he was day on day one. I asked him a couple of questions. He said, "Okay, you can learn those things, the uh, other things. Slowly, slowly catch up those things." So I, by the time I attended uh, the second, uh, like sixth class, I completed all the four classes which I had backlog. So his classes was completely different. He gives a lot more in-depth knowledge of on each of the topics. Um, through through it uh, networking or Azure uh, core concepts or uh devops all these classes or kubernetes uh, you understand the concept and then on top of that you understand how azure uh, services functions so that is a different way of teaching and it it keeps you uh, gives you a good idea about uh, the core concepts the core basics how it works in the background and i think a lot more uh, trainings uh, i've done udmis and other uh, trainings it does not keep that much of in depth knowledge so that was really good on that and that gives me much more knowledge on uh, um, azure second thing is that kato to and port- portal actually where uh, you could do lot more hands on there's plenty of hands on gives you step by step how to do that one so it keeps you complete understanding how to do that and, and there is support 
couple of times I have questions actually here uh, technical support okay uh, this is not working so they, they said okay then maybe you have to do this or to like that actually then so they have helped so that has helped me to do all the labs pretty much all the labs is done at least once or twice I have done that actually all the labs whatever is there projects same thing the project descriptions and all those things everything is there so I have done all the projects the projects has descriptions all those things step by step how to do that what are things to refer even the reference to microsoft site where you can get more info so those things are also there so that was these things are these things were really helpful actually and again job hunt that was the main thing so first few jobs i have uh, sent the resume and then asked we had back and forth multiple times discussions i had a call with uh, this first before sending the job uh, resume so i told her that this is what i'm looking for this is where i am 14 years gap not been to job this is my background applications so how do i migrate so she has she has explained me that okay you have uh, you have your soft skills you have your uh, cloud knowledge whatever you have done so who does the transfer like soft skills are always there transferable skills so those things we have put it in our resume modified it and uh, keep on applying keep on applying so she has suggested me to keep on applying as soon as as much as possible keep on applying so keep on applying i keeps on applying then got interviews calls and all things slowly started getting interview calls and all the things attended a couple of interviews then we'll understand that okay now the company is looking for this kind of things these are the areas i need to learn but then again went through the um, trainings and all the things so i decided to send me if i have interview schedule actually technical interviews so I used to send me, I used to ask that what kind of probable questions and all things. She used to send me a list of questions, create a lab, prepare based on this job description, prepare these things, prepare these labs and go to the interviews. That has helped me actually multiple times because if you prepare, if you have done the lab hands-on, you can talk more about hands-on, not just theory. So interviewer, they understand that, okay, this is better. So some, these guys know in-depth knowledge, not just uh, theory, but also technical knowledge. That has helped me actually a lot. So these all steps actually have helped me to reach over here. And along with that, sometimes, as I said, Atul has time to time come as uh, motivation, pushing everybody saying that, okay, you can do it. He keeps on trail sharing. Some other team members, uh, fellow members actually said that, okay, they have got. So these all inspirations are also interview preparation. I have attended multiple interview preparation. Uh, um, join somebody's questions and all those things preparing for interviews so i understand that helps me and gives me idea that how the interviews are happening so that has these things have really helped so and because of those things i strictly follow whatever has been told whatever the process procedure is that have been given follow that did the lab did the exercise and yeah that can be result in three months not even like yeah three months time um i'm i'm here with the first offer see i was trying to work on look for a job and solution cloud solution architect because as a senior i have a bit of pre-sales experience and i am i'm done solutioning a little bit upon that so i was thinking i'll to get but i'm not disappointed with this i wanted a foot in my in IGO cloud and this is what i got i wanted an entry point so I got entry. So I'm going to walk my, I'll be getting core experience. So this is a very good thing actually that I've got. I'll be getting a lot more experience on the core working areas, DevOps, infra, in automation, infra automation, uh, content narration, um, bit of monitoring, uh, log analytics, all those core areas I'll be able to work. Networking, VCN, uh, Vnet peering or Express Route or VPN, all these core areas I'll be able to work. So that one or two years that will give me solid exposure post that i wanted to move to solution or some kind of specialization like uh, data analytics or uh, those kind of specialization so that i have not thought but i've just wanted to work for two three years now where i gain experience on this agile services probably grow on these things maybe work on bit solutioning because i've got a lot of more customer management uh, skills soft skills and all those things i've done pre-sales work in my application side so I can utilize those skills and work for as a cloud arc solution architect, help the pre-sales team get business and all those things. So that's the goal. I'll continue studying the uh, courses from the portal. I'll continue getting the certification. So I'm, I'm targeting my uh, Azure administration certification and then probably solution architect certification. And then I'm in between also planning to get a certification from Terraform so that 
I'll have all those things and then something on the DevOps areas also. So all these are pipeline. I'm still started learning since um, I got the job. I am no longer applying for the job. I'm started learning those uh, training videos which are there in uh, Ktunian portal. So I'll keep on learning continuing. Maybe sometime once I have good amount of experience and all those things, I have always wanted to work on that uh, analytics, data analytics and all those areas, those are neat skills. So maybe I'll work on those areas sometime back. I'll come back for another training uh, to get on to and then learn those analytics and all, and then try to move, find some job in those areas. So that's all cool. Uh, learning will definitely continue. I would suggest actually follow, follow your guidelines, whatever the guidelines you have actually, like whatever you have said, whatever Atul has said, actually follow that strictly do hands-on do as much hands-on as possible apply for the jobs uh, that's all I, I have strictly follows whatever has been told to me because i was completely new i had no idea I strictly follow whatever atisa has told whatever Risa has told whatever Atul has told strictly follow applied job around 70 percent 80 percent completed applied for the job uh resume modifications however it's required modifying optimizing each i have 70 odd jobs 70 regimes have been prepared, 70 regimes, 70 cover letters have resigned, not even any two regimes are not identical. Everything has been modified, all the regimes have been modified. So I applied, keep on applying, keep on applying, keep on learning, keep on doing the hands-on. That was that was a key point. Multiple times I've done hands-on, multiple times I've gone through those training videos. I don't have to, I don't need to attend the classes. I have both classes actually, research classes there we have mentioned. Um, the classes are so well structured actually. You have, you know what topic is there, you know the notes, what uh, teacher is giving, everything is there. If you have doubt, you can ask the questions, send the mail to technical team, they'll support team, they'll help you. So all these are there. People should follow the strict process, focus some time, spend some time. It's every day you need to spend some time. Every day I, I spend at least two hours or three hours at least every day uh, to along with my job and other things, actually my family and all that, I spend at least three hours every day, one hour to apply for the job, two hours to study. A two hour study is probably half an hour study and one half hour of lab exercise. Every day I dedicated some time. So that routine actually have to be followed. If you follow that routine, you would land the job soon, sooner or later job. The more interview you keep, I have noticed that the more interview you keep, you understand the more questions, how they are coming, what kind of questions they are asking, what are the areas I need to cover, what are things you evaluate yourself. Every interview you evaluate yourself, uh, maybe 10 questions I didn't answer or 5 questions they asked I didn't answer. So next, prepare on those areas. Uh, these cl cloud engineer or cloud, I have not attended much solution architect roles, but mostly cloud engineer, cloud uh, infrastructure platform, infrastructure engineer, all those areas I've worked on. So core cloud concepts, uh, Kubernetes, DevOps and automation, Terraform. So these are the four areas which are most of the questions comes. So if you understand, if you go through the training, if you go through the exercise, pretty much you will be able to answer everything. I had no idea about DevOps, zero knowledge on Azure DevOps. Uh, I attend the uh, research old classes which happened in Jan 2024 gone through there are four sessions on that uh, DevOps, Azure DevOps, went through the four sessions and uh, did the activities uh, on Azure DevOps and I'm I'm very confident now. Somebody asked me probably 80-90% chances I'll just clear the interview just like that on Azure DevOps. So that was that was the power of training or following the process. So I would suggest everybody to follow strictly the guidelines what has been set by K21 team. Uh, if I can do, uh, anybody can do. I have got really different, complete different background. I had zero knowledge on Azure um, before I joined the classes. I've just gone through some trainings and all those things, but I had no idea about so many things at that. Follow the classes, follow the videos, follow the labs, do the labs, more hands-on, more deep, better it is.